What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time, I'm reviewing Shanti that was released on the Nintendo Game Boy Color and later released on the Game Boy Advance by Wayward and Capcom. Now, the plot is that um, a lady pirate named um, Risky Boots found out that about some treasure that was at the shuttle town and she pretty much launched an attack on the city to find where this treasure is and Shanti who is a genie girl is on is on a mission to stop this this particular pirate. And now Shanti has pretty much twenty five stages in it and which make it makes it one of the longer um, games on the Game Boy Color, and um, and it, one thing about the game is that Shanti can can attack her enemies with her hair, which is I'll be honest, it's it's kind of unusual, but it does work, you know what I'm saying? And and, and she's able to do other stuff like um dance and um perform magic and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, you can get items like, um, one-ups hearts to reveal your, um, um, health, and, and you can, um, get fireflies and stuff like that. Plus, you can you get gems to buy um, items throughout the course of the game, and the stuff you can buy is, like, laws, whether they're big, medium, or, or small, fireballs, pike balls, flash bows and stuff like that, and you can, um, do different dances to either change into an animal or, um, or warp into a particular location, and there's, like, a few, uh, animal locate, uh, transformations, which are, um, monkey, elephant, a spider, and a harpy, while the, um, tinkerback is is exclusive to the Game Boy Advance version. Now, the, the these animal transformations have their own strengths and weaknesses. Like with the um, monkey, it's fast, agile, and can get into um uh, certain fit into certain holes, but it but it can attack. The elephant, on the other hand, can uh, smash through walls and stuff like that. But it's like slow and has pretty much the worst jump of all of all the animal transformations, you know what I'm saying? Now the spider can um jump and climb through walls and stuff like that, but the spider just can't run, you know what I'm saying? Now the har the harpy can can fly but it's just pretty much terrible at running, you know what I'm saying? Not running but but walking, but being this main strength is flying, I would say you would try to get from A to B as quick as possible. Now the um Kinger Bats in terms of the Game Boy Fans version is actually one of the enemies that you transform into in in get in that particular version. You you're pretty much armed with a sword, you you have very good jumping jumping ability and um and um, you're able to um climb and run too. And plus, you can uh, smash the world do different things like the elephant transformation would, you know. Now, as far as enemies concerned, you, you'll face different different enemies like the tinker bats, uh, snakes, and litter fish, and stuff like that. Now, as far as the um, graphics and uh, level design is concerned, they are very good. And one, I would say one of the best. Uh, graphics and level designs that that came out of out of the um, Game Boy Advance, not Game Boy Advance, but Game Boy Color. You know, and it has excellent color palette and uh, sprites. Now the gameplay and controls are very good, and they also very fluent. And I do, uh, and the hit detection is really good, also. You know what I'm saying? And Sante has one of the best soundtracks that I've heard. Of out of any, like, um, Game Boy Color game and everything. Now, although, um, 
Ashanti pretty much sold poorly due to the fact that it was released around the time the Game Boy Advance had came out. It was still a good game, though. And this is one game that I would honestly recommend for anybody who's, who owns a Game Boy Color or any YouTuber who can who, who's able to um, put this in their um, let's put this on their channel under that Let's Play. You know what I'm saying? As far as the score is concerned, I would definitely give Shanti a 9 out of 10 because then as far as flaws are concerned, uh, there's really none that comes to mind. And if, and if there are any flaws that comes to mind, it's pretty, it will be pretty much nitpicking at this point. You know what I'm saying? You know, with that being said, if you played a Shanti for Game Boy Color, if you, even if you played the Game Boy Advance version, you can mention it in the comment section. If you happen to be one of your one of your favorite Game Boy Color games, you can mention that also. If you like my um, review with Shanti, don't hesitate to, to click the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, signing off.